In this video, we'll be looking at how Librex can be used as a scanning tool for Alfresco. First thing I'll do is log on to my Alfresco instance to look at what's the demo scenario we'll be using. So my server here is, is a server called the World University. This is a fictive university where I'll, I will be managing all my students' documents. In this case, I will be managing them to a student site. So if I go to the document library of my student site, I can see that actually I have three students in my university, Johnny Cash, Celine Dion, and John Lennon. So Librex will be feeding documents over here, will be creating those folders if required, or will be sending the documents to the right folder if applicable. We can see that when transferring documents, we also use uh, an advanced configuration to say, okay, let's create the, the folder using last name, first name, and student ID as a folder name. If you want to have more details about this configuration, I invite you to look at our video about the Librex Alfresco synchronization controller. This will go into more details about the config. So right now, we'll now go to my scanning window uh, in Librex, we see that what I'll be uh, scanning is an admission request folder from the general form using 300 DPI. This could be uh, manageable, this could be more large, more different DPI. This is always uh, options that we have. And I will be uh, using automatism to detect the end of the document within the form. So I just uh, put a pile of, of paper on my scanner and I'll launch the scan uh, the scan option. So you will see that within a few seconds uh, the scanner will send me the first page and uh, Librex will start treating it. So we can see that Librex is just constituting its document until it re reaches the end of a document. So how does Librex identify that it's the end of the document? There are a bunch of different different ways. We can either use separation, separation sheets either uh, extract metadata, like reading that it's one out of three, three out of three. So this is kind of logic that we can use to separate the documents. Then Librex will start to extract the metadata of, out of the, of the document. So we can see over here that the, the document is for Britney Spears with its student ID. How, how was that extracted? We just went to read the barcode over here. So this is really uh, an example of a scenario, we could go into more automatism or more manual capture. We were just trying to say to show you a mix of capture methods over here. So I go extract my barcode over here, then I went to interrogate an ext external system or external database to get the last name, the first name, the birth date. If required, I can also continue with the manual indexation. Again, this is really a scenario an example scenario that goes in some details. So this is my folder parameters. What, what does it mean? It means that I don't want to index my three documents of the f first folder three times. I just want to index it one for the whole uh, folder of this student. So I just say OK to this uh, folder. And then in this case, I will just define the type of the documents. This system will apply the, the metadata that's for this document type. I could also build an automatism to say, okay, it's an application form, put it as an admission request. This is, again, this is an example. Again, here, this is a resume. So I will be saying resume. And I have it, I have Britney Spears birth certificate over here. So I will say birth certificate. You'll see that once I go from the white section to the blue section, I will have again the folder parameter window that will be displayed because I want to index my second folder for the second student. So this is for Mr. McCartney. I will complete my index indexation manually and I will go type my documents. You can see that when I say it's a birth certificate, I have only four properties that are applied because the config tells me that, okay, I don't need the, the program for a birth certificate. And my last student. I 
let me show request. There I am, all my documents are validated and I can send them to Alfresco. So if we go back to Alfresco, we can see that within a few seconds, if I hit the F5 button, I should have my documents that are starting to be building, building within Alfresco. So you can see my first documents I've, I've already gotten to Alfresco. If I edit, edit them a few more times, the documents will continue to build. So let's open the Britney Spears folder and you will see that all the, the, the folder hierarchy and all the documents were automatically created from Librex. This means that you just have to work within Librex. You don't have to go do some extra manual steps within Alfresco. So I open this folder. We can see that we have a config saying, okay, there are some admission and some status documents. Uh, send those documents to admission, for example. And uh, that was for the 2012 MBA. So we can see that we used metadata to create the folder. And then I have my documents that were converted from a TIFF document to a PDF slash A document for long time archival purpose. So if I open my admission request over here, we can see that there's a document that was sent to the right folder at the right place. We can see that some metadata was also sent along the way, like for example the DPI, the driver name, as well as the, all the Librex document history. So I can see, see that the admin scanned it at some point in time. Uh, this is really to retrieve the life cycle of a document only in Alfresco. So you don't necessarily have to go back to Librex to see which operations were done at what point in time. Uh, we have advanced auditing tool, tool in Librex, but this can be just done in Alfresco as we send the metadata along the way. So if we go back to our Generix folder, we'll be able to see that all the new students have been scanned and indexed within Alfresco just automatically. Uh, there's no work to be done in Alfresco. This allows us to to uh, see that all the documents are always created in the same way. So I can see that if this document sent me, as, if this student sent me his birth certificate, it will always be under the status subfolder. This is a, a warranty of how the system is configured and how it, how it is used. We can also, um, we can also trace the life cycle of the document from the point we put the paper on the scanner through the point it's sent to Alfresco. So this this gives you a legal value to, to your document. If you scan and go through a network folder, you will lose the legal integrity of your document. But if you can uh, follow the life cycle of document from A to Z, this will give value to your document. Thank you.